I like walking around nice urban green spaces. We are in Parque de San Martin. It's springtime here in Salta. It's really, really beautiful time to be here in Salta, Argentina. The Museum of Natural Sciences del Museo de Ciencias Naturales. Welcome back everyone, Salta, Argentina. We are right here in front of the monument to Jose de San Martin because we are in Parque de San Martin. And today we are gonna explore Parque de San Martin, a large urban park right here in Salta, Argentina. So come along. Thanks for clicking on the video. If you wanna help out the channel and help it grow, I really would appreciate it. Click on the like button down there, the subscribe button, and the little bell next to it to be notified for when new videos drop. It really helps the channel grow because it's gonna help the YouTube algorithm recognize this content and spread it to other YouTube viewers. If you'd like to support the channel monetarily, I would appreciate that as well. You can leave a super thanks by clicking this thanks button here and give a small donation to the channel. I appreciate your support. So back to the video, enjoy. So Parque San Martin, it's a large urban park right here at the base of San Bernardo Hill, the iconic hill on the uh, landscape skyline here of Salta. And that hill actually is very uh, important. We mentioned this in our previous video in the center that we made about the Centro neighborhood, that that hill is very important in the history of Salta because the famous Battle of Salta was fought over that hill. And we will be exploring that hill actually and uh, making a whole, um, like a whole video about it. Because from here in Parque San Martin, there is a uh, Teleferico station right there. And you can see, I don't know if you can see it, but there are Telefericos, like um, cable cars, that you can ride up to the very top of the hill. And we will be doing that and talking about the Battle of Salta. But today, I wanna to talk about the beautiful urban park, Parque San Martin. Now, if you've been watching the channel, you know that I enjoy a good urban park. And this is actually a very nice urban park. It uh, has many different plazas. It's basically made up of a bunch of different plazas and green spaces that are all sort of uh, connected and bypassed by different streets and roads. And over here in uh, Parque or Plaza San Martin, as part of Parque San Martin, we're sort of over at the uh, like eastern side of the park. And just north of us is Teleferico station. Um, south of us, over there across the street, there's like a school, um, which we, we won't go explore over there. It's basically just like a school campus. And it'd be weird walking around there. Um, but over here, there's like a little market that is here all the time with all these little market stalls um, right across this street. And we could walk through there real quick and take a look. So right here, Paseo San Martin. Paseo San Martin, right next to Plaza San Martin in the park. Lots of stalls. Vendors selling all kinds of stuff in here. If you need socks. electronics, hats, gifts, all kinds of stuff. Tea and honey. It's a nice little market here with all kinds of stuff that you could potentially want. Um, and it's here all the time. It's like a permanent installment here in the park. So this isn't just something that pops up, you know, like every Sunday or something like that. As far as I know, it's open every day and they have all kinds of stuff in here. And it goes down for like two blocks along the uh, the edge of the plaza here. It goes right, cuts right through the park. And there are more stalls over this way. So there's different like passageways going through. Here at the end of the row of markets, like I said, across the street here, there's a school campus. 
But the main feature, I would say, in the entire park is this lake right here in the middle of the park. Like a man-made lake in the middle of the park, something that we've definitely seen before. Some of the other uh, urban parks that we've explored around South America in Ros uh, Rosario, Parque de la Independencia had a big man-made lake like this. In Parque La Carolina in Quito, Ecuador, another big man-made lake. Well, actually not, not as big as this, not very big. The, the lake in La Carolina was kind of small, but in all of them, the thing that they have in common is uh, you can uh, paddle boat around them. You can like rent paddle boats. See like, see right there, some paddle boats that you can rent, row boats and other things to enjoy a nice day like today. It's actually quite, quite nice today. It's very warm, sun's out, not a cloud in the sky. It's springtime here in Salta. It's a really, really beautiful time to be here in Salta, Argentina. So it's a beautiful, beautiful man-made lake right in the middle. And we're here in the afternoon. It's a lot of people out. It's like uh, mid-afternoon, so time when a lot of things are closed, people are out having a merienda, like an afternoon snack, and hanging out in the park. And throughout the whole park, there are footpaths that you can walk along, but also bike paths, which is very cool. There's usually like little playgrounds, like, I don't know if you can see this one over here. Little playground over here, you know, for the kids. And one thing about this park is uh, the grass is not exactly green um, in this park, throughout the park, but that's to be expected because up here in Salta, we're actually up in like the high desert. So it's like a desert climate. There's not a lot of water and not a lot of rain um, up here in Salta. So unlike, like for example, Parque um, Independencia in Rosario, where they're right on the river and they get a lot of rain year round, uh, this just isn't the climate for that. So the park is a little bit brown, but still I think very beautiful. Now one interesting thing in the park it's actually right here, we're walking right past it. And that is uh, the Museo de Ciencias Naturales, the Natural, Natural Science Museum. And uh, I think it's actually open right now, if we can figure out exactly where to go in. Um, and I wanna poke my head in here and take a look around because we like a good museum and it looks like a one that would be interesting. And since we're here exploring the park, might as well explore the museum too. The Museum of Natural Sciences and Museo de Ciencias Naturales. And we found, found the entrance. It's right over here. So let's go check it out. All right, we're inside. We're in the museum. It, uh, it was free to get in, but I think that may only be like today. I wasn't, wasn't quite sure. There is a ticket office that uh, there was nobody in the ticket office. And it did say tickets for foreigners were 6,000 um, pesos, but I don't know. It's either gonna be free or it's gonna be around 6,000 pesos. But in the first hall here, in the first hall, we're, we're, we really are going back to the very beginning of natural science. We're at the Big Bang. I'm we're gonna speed past that stuff, because to be perfectly honest, that's like quantum physics, I don't understand that. One year is equivalent to 407, 4.57 million. So basically, they're giving you a, they're giving you a, uh, like, if, if on the 1st of January, at zero, zero hours, that was, the uh, the grand explosion supernova that formed the you know gases and and like stuff that eventually was going to become the Earth. So the formation of the Earth by let's see, first of February. Let's 
see, first life cyanobacteria start showing up, first of May. And complex life forms do not begin showing up until the 12th of November. Very cool quartz, rose quartz. Let's go upstairs. This place is not, uh, not super busy. We're here on a week, weekday, like the early to mid afternoon. Some interesting fossils here. Trilobite fossils. Oh, look at this. A giant dinosaur bone from a Saltasaurus loricatus. Makes sense, Saltasaurus, from right here in Salta. Mesozoic era, Jurassic Park style. Here we got some, uh, oh here's some mammal fossils. Oh look at this, this is a, uh, I don't know, some sort of a canine kind of a mammal from here in Salta. Cenozoic era mammals, giant creepy dinosaur birds. Here's a timeline here. Bacteria, algae, first animals with shells, trilobites, corals, fishes, fishes and first amphibians, first reptiles, different reptiles, dinosaurs, 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 mammals, and then us, all the way here at the end. Ah, the vertebrates. Now we're talking. A lot of preserved vertebrates here, frogs, fish. Snakes. Cool. Giant whale bone, whale vertebra. Birds. Insectivores. Okay, different mammals, insectivores, omnivores, carnivores, herbivores. Pretty cool. Oh wow, look at this. Many insects, butterflies. Now, uh, around here in Salta, <laughs> I have seen some pretty big old bugs flying around, around here, which is uh, pretty cool, a little creepy. I'm a little creeped out by bugs, especially spiders, man. I am not a fan. We made a video all the way back in uh, where were we? We were in Mendoza, Argentina. We went to a, uh, it was like a snake and reptile house that they had there in Mendoza and they had a couple of spiders crawling around, man. Oh, not a fan. If you wanna check that out, I'll link it in the description. All right, we're moving on. Moving on. To uh, hall number six. Oh, wow, they actually do have a lot of stuff here. Like for for a for a small museum, like on a very small building, small footprint, they've packed in a lot of stuff. All these different drawers with stuff in it. I mean, look at all of this, right? For time's sake of the video, I'm not gonna open up all of these drawers, but. Were you to come here and you wanted to see all of this really cool stuff, look at all these seashells, these are super cool. They've packed a lot of stuff in here. And they have a horse skull. <laughs> equine. Equine skull. 
I definitely applaud. I applaud this museum. They've they've done a lot, and the fact that it was free to get in was really nice. It's in here. Pasa y escucha. You can listen in here to the sounds of the uh, rainforest, I guess. Animales, Euphonia. This is cool. We are not really near any kind of rainforest here. There is rainforest uh, in the north of Argentina, but not in this part. We're in the northwest part, which is like near the Andes Mountains, very desert, high desert area. In the northeast part, over in like, um, let's see, I guess it would be like Corrientes province the province that's up by Iguazu Falls along the border of um, uh, of Brazil that's where like all the rainforest is important to note that Argentina <laughs> is an extremely diverse um, country as far as biomes it's one of the reasons I like Argentina so much actually you can hop on a plane somewhere in Argentina fly a couple hours and you're in like a completely different climate, completely different biome. It's very cool. Anyway, we'll head back downstairs and we'll check out the last few halls. Oh, all right. Now we're in hall nine. Wow, look at these. All these taxidermied different animals, mammals. A Mayuatu, Mayuatu, some sort of a sloth, anteaters, or I guess that's not a sloth, this is an anteater, right? Anteaters, ooh, a puma, puma aka cougar aka mountain lion aka you don't want to run into that. <laughs> Many different birds. Let's see, do we recognize any of these birds? Parrots. There's a parrot. Pretty cool. Or some sort of a parrot. Yeah, loro. Loro is the word for parrot in uh, Spanish. Loro. Cool. Owls. You know, honestly, <laughs> where we're staying, the apartment where we're staying is up on the top floor of the building. It's in like, almost like an attic. Uh, there's like an A-frame roof and everything. And I swear, there are many birds nesting up on the roof and around the roof because <laughs> they've been waking me up every day we've been here. Squawking and flapping and scuttling around. You can hear them up there. It's not that I mind. It's not bad. But it's very interesting. I feel like I've probably run into a few of these birds right outside the windows of the apartment. Maybe not these guys. Oh, there we go. Pavo. Pavo real. Yeah, peacock. I think pavo, that's the, uh, the word for peacock in Spanish. Anyway, we've seen these guys at the... Um, uh, the, the Eco Parque in Buenos Aires. Link to that video in the description also. And Pinguino, Patagonico. Yeah, so if you go down far enough, down in Patagonia, down way south in Argentina, where, where they're like, you're closer to Antarctica than you are to pretty much anything else, there's penguins. You don't even have to go that far south, honestly, to, to get penguins. If we go to, if you go down to like Puerto Madryn, which is in Patagonia, but it's in like the northern part of Patagonia, out on the islands and the peninsulas out on the shore there, man, there's penguins. There are penguins. Here we are. The final haul with some fish and all the different, now here, here's all the different rivers around Argentina. That's another thing about Argentina. There are a lot of rivers around 
Argentina, Rio Juramento. I'm not sure exactly where that is. Rio Bermejo, this is uh, up north along the border of uh, Bolivia. Rio Bermejo. Rio Pilcomayo. Oh, here we go. This is like full on. Wow. These are quite impressive. With all the taxidermy birds and different animals. Chaco. Chaco Serrano. Yeah, so this is like, let's see. Yungas. Yungas. This is like up further, like in the rainforest area in the northeast, I would imagine. With like psychotic killer cats. Here we are in Chaco, desert region. Uh, which I think is kind of around where we are. Yeah, like this looks very much like where we are. High desert, mountains in the background. Here is a absolutely gigantic snake, anaconda. Terrifying, reminds me of that movie. What was it called? Anyway, Jennifer Lopez and Ice Cube were in it. Some birds. This this is like I think down Puna. I don't know exactly what region this is. Puna. Maybe further south, like Patagonia region. But along the mountains. So over in the uh, western part of Argentina. Monte. Sierras y Bolsones. That adorable little guy. Look at him. Cute. Very cute. A caiman. Terrifying. Caimans, alligators, crocodiles. Terrifying. They basically have an exalt, haven't uh, evolved for hundreds of millions of years because they hit their peak of evolution, which is scary. Oh, and here we go. All the different species, it looks like, examples of different species that you can find in different places around here in uh, Argentina. Yeah, and some of these we've seen, like I said, in the uh, Bioparque in Buenos Aires, right? Uh, what did we see there? We didn't see a puma, thank God. Um, Vicuña up there, I think we saw those. Uh, what else? We saw a tapir. We saw a tapir there. I think we saw that, a suri, uh, this thing, this big flightless bird. I think we saw one of those. We definitely saw one of these, mono kai bayo, monkey. Saw a lot of stuff there. It's pretty cool. That's a cool experience, the bio park, bio, or eco parque. Um, very cool, right in the middle of the city walk around and there were tons of little animals crawling around all over there. Mostly those little uh, hair, Patagonian hares, which I kept calling carpinchos because I didn't know that carpincho was the word for capybara. Uh, well, they're not carpinchos. They're called maras. Anyway, I think we've seen what there is to see here in the Natural History Museum. I think it's very cool. It's a very cool, uh, cool museum. Like I said, they did a lot with the space that they had, and I appreciate it. And it was free, so 
Let's continue. Let's head outside and continue our tour of Parque San Martin. Here, just south of the uh, museum, it's right over there. Across the street here, Parque Infantil Municipal. The municipal park for kids. It's like Chong's Park. And of course, there is a nice playground. Some swings and a merry-go-round and some seesaws. And also, right here, in this park, Parque Infantil Municipal, there is a monument, Monumento de la Madre, a monument to the mothers. There it is right there. This is something that we've seen in other parks and other plazas in other places in South America. There's one of these, a statue to the mothers in Parque Independencia in Rosario. And also, like when I was in Cuenca in Ecuador, didn't actually show that on video, but there is one there. There's also one in Rio Bamba, Ecuador that I've seen. Pretty sure everywhere you go, you're gonna be able to find a monument to the mothers. Because, well, they're pretty important, right? The mothers. Right here on the corner of uh, Avenida San Martin and Santa Fe, which is San Martin, Avenida San Martin, is like the major street running east-west through the park and through the whole city, actually. You go that way on Avenida San Martin, it takes you over towards, um, towards El Centro. That way and then up maybe like four or five blocks. And we're actually right here in front of this statue. You can see behind me. That is the statue of Dr. Facundo de Zuvria. Zuviria. Let's get a good shot of the guy. Now, the apartment where we're staying is actually kind of close to Parque San Martin. So I've actually walked past this statue many, many times during my stay here. I didn't actually know who this guy was until I uh, looked him up recently and basically he was an Argentine politician during the post-independence era. Um, he found himself on the wrong side of Juan Manuel de Rosas, who was the leader of the Argentine Confederacy, or the Argentine Confederation during the uh, Civil War period. And uh, this guy had to flee to Bolivia. He lived up in Sucre for a couple of decades actually, until Rosas was defeated by Roquisa uh, at the end of the Civil War period in 1853 or uh, 1852, Battle of Monte Caseros. And then they, he got to come back. After his return, he was a senator. He was a signatory of the 1853 Argentine Constitution. And he was also appointed president of the Argentine Supreme Court. But he died soon after in, I believe, 1856. Anyway, an interesting guy with an interesting story. And now I know who the statue is of. Statue right here at the corner of uh, Santa Fe and San Martin. Anyway, let's cross the street here. Cross the street a little more of the park this is Plaza San Martin Oeste, West San Martin. So we're getting into like the western part of the park. Here in Parque San Martin Oeste, West San Martin Park. More, uh, more playgrounds for the kids. Little outdoor workout area. This I've also seen in a lot of parks in uh, different countries, different cities around South America. I find this very cool. You don't need to join a gym, guys. Just uh, get out, go for a little jog, come over here, do some body weight exercises, you'll be fine. Don't shell out the couple hundred bucks a month to join a gym when you can just work out right here. Save yourself some money. And this part of the plaza gets narrower and narrower as you go west. Like each one of the little plazas get a little more narrow as sort of the city and the buildings start to creep in a little bit. This, I have no idea what this is. Let's see. It is a monument, star, 
to something. I don't know. Who knows? Does anybody know? Anybody from Salta know what this little star is a monument to? Anyone? Let me know down in the comments. Like I said right here, you can see like buildings, both residential and also like a little restaurant cafe on the corner. Starting to like close in a little bit on the uh, on the plaza. It becomes a little narrower, right? Like this part in Parque San Martin Oeste is still a block wide. But over here, across the street, this is only like half a block, right? Like half a block wide. And if you go further, there's a couple more little mini plazas up there that way that uh, they get even narrower, even more narrow. But I'm not gonna go down that way. I actually wanna loop back up here and go back towards the, uh, the two northernmost plazas where that are actually kind of close to uh, the apartment where we've been staying. One of them is where the station for the Teleferico to get up to San Bernardo Hill is. And the other one is one where uh, I've actually seen some street vendors like uh, set up on the weekends. Here's a part of the plaza. It's up like in the, the northernmost part of the plaza. One, it's like one square block roughly. And across the street that way in the next plaza over is where the station to the uh, Teleferico is right by where we started the video but uh, this is really nice there's a lot of trees in here which of course are not really blooming too much um, we are at the very beginning of spring and I would imagine uh, later on these trees will start blooming although there has been a bit of a drought uh, here in Argentina and I'm not sure if maybe these trees are suffering from the drought or if it's just uh, too early for them to bloom because we're filming this in uh, September which actually not even technically spring yet I will say the weather definitely feels like spring the weather has been for a good amount of the time that we've been here in Salta uh, wonderful and here we have a monument to something I have no idea it's very very cool very um, very modern this is definitely something newer it's not uh, it's not like our statue of uh, Facundo over there or the statue of San Martin up on the horse you can tell this is something much newer much more modern I don't know what this is and you know what I'm not gonna look it up I'm gonna let someone in the comments tell me what this thing is. Does anybody know? We're in Parque San Martin here. Does anyone know what this is? Tell me down below if you know. From here you can get a really, really nice view of San Bernardo Hill up there. Look at that hill. It doesn't seem too big in the video I don't I, it's hard to say it's hard to show the scale of it in the video but I I will tell you it's 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 a big hill it's a big old hill I don't know if you can see the teleferical cars going up on the cables there but um, all the way up at the top there is uh, there's like apparently a beautiful beautiful view of the city from up there and when we go up there and we check it out we're gonna to get to see that view. That's that's coming soon in a future video, I promise. Stick around. Here we are at Paseo de la Diversidad. Nice little walk through park here. Paseo de la Diversidad. Designated by order number 16.096 in 2023 to commemorate a space for the revindication and commemoration of the fight against discrimination uh, 
sexual orientation, identity, and gender. There you go. And if we go through here, through the Paseo, Paseo de Diversidad, we end up back, there's like a little amphitheater in here too, which is pretty cool, but we end up uh, back through here, through this gate, at the uh, telepherical station, on the other side of the telepherical station this time. And I think that'll be a good place to end the video. We can take a quick look at the telepherical station and prepare ourselves for uh, the next video, which will be when we actually take the telepherical up to the top of San Bernardo Hill and we talk about the Battle of Salta, which of course was fought over San Bernardo Hill. It's a very important battle in the war for independence here in Argentina. There it is, Teleferico San Bernardo. So I think that'll be it for the video. If I mentioned in other videos, of course, I do like a good urban park. I like walking around nice urban green spaces, or well, in this case, it's all to brown spaces because honestly, the grass is not really green, but still, it's a nice park. There's stuff to see, stuff to do. Telefetico is here. A really cool museum of natural sciences, uh, which I was actually uh, pleasantly surprised by. And of course, the lake in the middle where you can come on a nice day like today, paddle around the lake. But that'll be it for the video. We have seen Parque San Martin here in the beautiful city of Salta, Argentina. I hope you enjoyed the video and stay tuned. There's plenty more coming from here in Salta. We'll see you next time.